How are you doing guys? I hope we're well. Back today with a brand new video and we're out on the golf course. So I thought I'd bring you this review of the Pro SLX Carbon from Footjoy out on the golf course, give you my full review. We're not going to talk tech, we're not going to talk design theories, philosophies, whether this is a good move for Footjoy or not, just about the shoes, whether or not you should go ahead and buy yourself a pair for this upcoming season. We're at the wonderful Blackmore. I'm going to play a few holes and give you my full thoughts. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first thing I want to talk to you about with this shoe is comfort, which is going to be number one for a lot of you guys out there. These are by far the most comfortable Pro SLs I've ever worn, just period. I've pretty much had every single iteration from even before they were called Pro SL, they were called Dry Joy Casual. They are by far the nicest to walk in of any of those pairs. They really, really are. You can see the stack height, in the heel, there's so much of the strata foam in that midsole that they're just an absolute delight to walk in. Guys, it's course maintenance week here at Blackmore. Course still looks absolutely incredible. Getting set for the Selborne Salva in a, in a couple of weeks. This place is gonna look mint. And we've got a little deer out for the, uh, for the game of golf with us as well. How cool is that? Hopefully I'm not gonna scare him off. Wow, that's still pretty cool to see. It's the sort of stuff that as you get older, you start to think is pretty cool. When I was 18, I don't know. So let's talk looks. Do I think that they are the best looking golf shoes ever made? No, but they have been growing on me. I think with a pair of shorts in the summer, they are gonna start to look pretty good. Now colorways, I'm a big fan of the colorway that I have here in the Pro SL Carbons. They do come in black and plain white, which I think the white is going to be the one that you're going to see the most of when the weather starts to get a little bit better. So with those, they match a few more different outfits, but I think with some shorts in the summer, these things are going to start to look pretty good. Never going to be a head turner. They're not a bad looking pair of shoes. Right guys, let's talk stability and then what they're like to play in. To be fair, because of the amount of strata foam in the midsole, I was kind of thinking that they might be a little bit funny to play in. They might not be as stable as we're used to seeing from a Pro SL. I was wrong. These things are surprisingly very, very stable. One of the reasons for them being so stable is you, if you sort of see, I'll show, put a clip in of the top down, the, the midsole kind of slants outwards ever so slightly, just providing you with that little extra stability. So they are very, very stable. Your feet are not going anywhere, especially in this carbon model, not a lot of flex. I do think that they're a very stable shoe and they're very, very good to play in. My feet aren't going anywhere. I'm not rolling around all over the place, which I think is absolutely key. So guys, for me to play in, these are a pretty good shoe. They're about as close, I think, as I felt to a Premier Series to play in. Guys, don't be roasting me in the comments for the golf swing. I know, I know we're working on it. Don't worry, we're working on it. We'll be ready for the season. Just want to follow on from the discussion we were just having a second ago about what they were like to play in. Grip is a huge part of these shoes. Now, I know I said that uh, we weren't really gonna talk about the tech in the shoe all that much, but we have to allude to this X-wing sort of sole they've got going on here and the fact that they've lost a bunch of traction points through the middle of the sole, as you can see from the images that I'm putting up here now. Have I experienced any loss of grip? The only loss of grip that I've really experienced in this shoe is on an AstroTurf mat. That is the only time where sort of the, the fins that you've got that go around the side haven't really performed as I sort of were expecting them to on an AstroTurf mat. I don't really tend to play a lot of golf on AstroTurf mats or AstroTurf in general, so that's absolutely fine. On the golf course, no grip issues whatsoever, exactly as I would expect them to be. Just the grip is, uh, is it's a foot joy shoe. The grip's gonna be good.
Right guys, before we talk sizing, I want to get onto a little nitpicky. I feel like I've got to be nitpicky with these shoes in some way, shape or form. The heel design, I don't love, I'll be honest. M my trousers are just where it kind of scoops up at the back, looks like a bit of a ski slope at the back there. I just feel like my trousers just end up going down into that sort of ski slope bit, get stuck, have to pull them out. I just don't love the way that looks or the way that feels. That's a bit of a nitpicky point, but let's get on to the sizing. I went true to my normal FootJoy size. They are beautiful. They are exactly what I would want. I've seen people talk about going up maybe half a size in your normal FootJoy size. For reference, my normal FootJoy size is a size nine. I got these in a size nine. I wear a 10 in Adidas. I wear a nine and a half in Nike. I wear a nine in FootJoy. So, People I have seen said that they would go up half a size. If you want them a little bit roomier, then, then you can go up half a size, I guess. I got a fitting, as you may have seen in the Everything You Need To Know video. I did get a fitting and that came up with a nine. So that's the one that I, uh, I wanted to go with. They fit nice and snug, which is how I like my shoes to fit. So yeah, if you want them to fit true to size, nice and snug, go with your normal foot joy size. If you want a little bit more room, you could maybe go up half a size. I just wouldn't recommend it. I was really hoping that this was gonna be just an absolutely beautiful evening. Today has been probably maybe the nicest day, probably maybe, that doesn't make sense. Probably the nicest day of the year. Thought I'd come out here, wall to wall sunshine. This place in the sun is incredible. And I feel like I've just felt a spot of rain, which uh, yeah, this is just, I mean, you feel like you're out of the woods and then guys, it, it yeah, it just starts, uh, just starts raining again on you because not rained enough in the UK in the last couple of weeks, months, years. Right guys, so that brings us on to pricing and whether or not you should go ahead and buy them. Pricing wise, 159 for the standard model, 189 for the carbons that I'm wearing today on the FootJoy website. You can find them roughly five or, five or 10 pounds cheaper elsewhere, but uh, that's what they're on FootJoy's website currently. The model that I'm wearing today, the carbons, if you need a brand new pair of golf shoes for the upcoming season and stability is pretty high on the list of things that you want from a shoe, you also want some comfort, then look no further. 189, yes, it's a little bit on the pricey side, but that's just the way things are going now. Trying to get a good performing spikeless pair of golf shoes for less than that. I mean, people are going to put, you know, sort of all sorts down in the comment section, no doubt. But I think really 189 for these. If you're a big ProSL fan, you've worn every iteration up to this point. This is a big enough jump in technology that I think it's worth definitely checking them out. If you don't require the stability from the carbon model and you just want the all out comfort, you want a household name when it comes to golf shoes, then do check out the uh, the standard model. I, I only, only pay the extra 30 pounds, guys, I said this in my other video, only pay the extra 30 pounds if you really require the additional stability. If you don't, stick with the standard model, you're gonna have more colorways, you're gonna have more options to choose from. So that's gonna be the best way for you guys to go. So that is gonna wrap up my FootJoy Pro SLX Carbon review. I've got a couple more holes to play. If you did enjoy this content, do let me know down in the comment section down below and drop a like on the video. Huge thank you to FootJoy for their continued support of me and the channel. I really, really do appreciate it. And guys, do subscribe, like, all that good stuff. I'll see you on a video very, very soon.